Hello guys, it's uh, the Sunday of the RYA dinghy show here at Alexandra Palace. I'm here with uh, Ollie Turner uh, to give us a talk through the RS200 class and his experience for the first year. Cheers, thank you very much. So yeah, um, basically in uh, my first year in the twos, I was actually fortunate enough to, to borrow a 200, the champs previous, and uh, and have a go at helming a 200, because it's something I always wanted to have a go, because I heard that it was a really good, fun week at the Nationals, lots of partying, young entry, so it's vibrant and it's, it's a lot of fun. And, uh, and then, yeah, and then because I enjoyed that so much, I actually ordered a, a new boat, so, and then fully committed into the 200 fleet, and, uh, and I did my first year last, last year, so, uh, and that was really good fun. Um, being of a background where I've previously had really brightly coloured boats and stuff like that from other classes, I, I wasn't settled for just the white. You can obviously do various different colours within the, the RS, uh, from RS, which is great. But um, I actually went down the route of vinyl wrapping my boat, which is just another way of personalising it. And uh, as you'll probably see from the slides, my boat really stands out and it's, that's just a part of me. So that's just who I am and what I like to do and we're here to do it. So um, yeah, the boat is really, really cool. It's really well laid out. It's really simple and it's really easy to use. Being like an experienced sailor from other classes, but uh, new to the 200, I'd never done uh, asymmetric sailing before. So it can't be that hard, can it? But it's not when the boat is so simple and so well laid out, it's not overcomplicated and it is literally just about sailing the boat. So uh, one of the things I'm thankful for uh, in my time that I've spent in the 200 this year is actually the friends that I've made and the people that I've known there already who've been really forthcoming with advice and tips and little guidance bits. So like if I'm struggling to get on the plane, there's someone in the bar next to me and they're telling me, oh, have you tried this? Have you tried that? So that's really good because being experienced but unknowledgeable on the two, it's been really good to get in and that's really helped me ramp up my 200 sailing and actually get the, the basics sorted quickly and then get down to the fine tuning. So like my one biggest tip would be just to talk to people, just just get in the bar afterwards after sailing, talk about how much fun you had and then try and like get some tips off people and uh, people, the 200 fleet are so welcoming that they want you to be racing with them so they're really forthcoming in giving you tips and they, they want the competition to be really good and it is so that's probably one of the reasons why they get the high entry level turnouts at the championships and why the standard's so good throughout the fleet as well so that's really nice to see so I've really appreciated that so I thank my friends for that and, um, and yeah it's um, it's been a really fun class to learn because it's been so different from all the symmetric sailing I've been doing. And in the symmetric sailing I was always reaching around, looking for the planing, looking for the speed. I loved it. And then it eventually dawned on me that maybe I should try asymmetric sailing and give it a go. And the place to go for asymmetrics is obviously RS. So that's, that's how I got into the RS um, boats basically. And I've started out with the 200 and I've got aspirations for a 400 maybe and we'll go from there but we'll stick with the two for now um, so with with the boat once you get your, your basic setup sorted uh, and there's tuning guides online and there's coaching videos on there's a DVD and there's also samples of those on YouTube as well so as a learner that was really important for me to even before I set foot in the boat I was able to research and just look into it a little bit. What are these guys doing and what are the top names doing and what do they do that I don't really know because it's really hard to know what you're doing unless you can see it. And then, so the other reason that uh, the, it's been really a really good year for me is because the class uh, are welcoming towards sport cameras. So you can put a camera on your boat, you can film your sailing, which is not only is it really good fun, you can watch your sailing back, but then also you can analyse it if you really want to and you can work out where you went wrong, what you can do, and how you can improve. So that's another way how it's really quick to get up to speed. You, you talk to people, you watch the videos, and you get your, your core set up right on the boat. And then you just go out and sail it, and you love it, and you enjoy it. So um, that's, that's been a really good aspect of my first year, actually. So, and I've put a camera on the boat, I've filmed it, I've analysed it, posted it on social media, and it, it's just really good to analyse. So that's, uh, that's a tricky situation, but it's really good. So uh, RS have done well with that.
Um, so yeah, uh, last summer we had the RS Games, and uh, obviously I was there on the 200, but you had every RS class there for like a month, four or five weeks, and it was uh, an RS domination of Weymouth, which was awesome, and I was actually really excited to, to go to that, to, to witness it, be part of it, and uh, just to have some fun with it, and then also see other people and the other classes who I knew and like haven't seen in a long time. So that was actually a really good social championships and I think a lot of people enjoyed it in the month and there was a lot of people racing there. So that was really fun as my first proper nationals. So, um, so yeah, and actually from all those things I said about prepping the boat, watching the videos and talking to people in the bar and my friends, I was able to actually win a race at the nationals. So that's how quickly these things can happen if you're a half decent sailor and you go about it the right way. So, uh, yeah, so now I'm going to try and work on winning more races and winning more events. And we actually managed to finish last season winning the end of seasons, which is a really cool format because they have the, um, the pursuit race on the Saturday, uh, which is all classes. So that was good fun. Uh, racing against all the different types of boats, all the different tactics and strategies of all those different types of boats. And then the Sunday which was just class racing and it's close quarters, it's close uh, close racing, it's tough competition and it's just another aspect so across the weekend there's a really good range of conditions and racing scenarios and it's a really good event so I was really happy to win that event and I'm really excited for this year now so now we're March, it's the start of the season, we've got the fixtures coming in and they're starting now at the end of this month so it's time to start you know thinking and planning your sailing this year, where you're going, what you're doing and how you're going to do it and what you're going to get out of it so uh, that's really exciting I'm looking forward to it we've got the the nationals down in Torquay so uh, that should be really good and I, I think we're going to get a really good turnout with that and it will also be a really good social as well so um, hope to see you there